94? No, I think you're wrong. I think it's 95. I think I'm right. And if you're wrong, you have to show everyone your thong. All right. And if you're right, you have to tell me that I'm nice. Okay. Let me see. We're on episode 94, and I know because I edit them. Exactly. Anyways. Show everyone your thong. Anyways. <laughs> um, hey, do you say four or do you say fo? Fo. Okay. Just I said fo. Sure. No, I'm just making sure. I feel like when you say fo. Yeah. People know what's up. They know what's up. Yeah. Hey, do you say for sure or you say for sure? For sure. I don't know, dude. You take me for a for sure kind of guy. Look at do, you. Do I Wiping take your mocos? Do I take you for like a greasy guy? Because I feel greasy right now. You're, Am I greasy? You greasy. I'm about to no. throw you on the grill. Stop telling your bitch ass. Damn, we look good, man. Hey, what's new, pussy cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Estás escuchando la platica. And that is the sound of La Platiquita, episode 94. Remember, you can listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You we said are four. your. You said four. Damn. Do it again. <sighs> yes, and that's the sound of episode 94. 94, four. Remember, you can listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, baby. Call the Paul Paul Ho. We are your host. You're very good looking host of this Damn, uh, we amazing fine. podcast. Uh, to my left here, I have my podcast boyfriend, the Josh Leva. You can find him on Instagram as the Josh Leva. And then Show myself, can. Show can. you can find me at, at Isevas. And at that's with Isevas. three Y's, I think. It's three. It's three Y's. I count yeah. them every single day. Isevas. Yeah, yeah. So Isevas, mm -hmm. uh, we are your beautiful host of La Platiquita, my boy. And um, welcome, everybody. Uh, Tuesdays don't suck. I think I'm going to post this on Tuesday. Holy shit. It's it, been really busy for me lately. Fair warning. Um, next week's episode is probably going to be a Tuesday episode as well. Uh, probably G. Yeah. Probably G. Because this is going to be the last episode we shoot on La Platica as a non-married man. Ooh-wee. I'm busy right now, bro. I, it, it's starting to get to me. It's starting to get to me. But before we you get into that. You look a little overwhelmed, dude. Have a sip of the Coke Z and let, let the, let the stress-free come out your body. Thank you, Josh. I really needed that. I really need to just wind down even on the way over here. Yeah. I caught myself driving a little fast. Whoa. And I'm just like, whoa, like what, what's the rush right now? You Hyperactive. Know? What's the rush, G? What's the rush, hey, man? But can I say that it's okay that you feel like this? You're getting yes, get married. Yes, in, yes, in, yes, yes, When this episode comes out, you won't be married yet. But the next one, and you And then will be. I, I had family over. Oh. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. I had family fly in today from LAX. Yeah. From Guadalajara to LAX. So it's like, it's getting real, man. It's, it's yeah. getting real, dude. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, just... Um, Again, apologize for for uh, not posting on Monday, but um, it is what it is right now. Um, we have came to a conclusion, me and Josh Leva, that sometimes it's okay not to post on Mondays, but we gotta post every week. We post every week, and let me tell you Sadugan. something about your dedication because Sadugan. I know that you're going through a lot right now. You know, a wedding. You're planning a whole. There's a whole wedding happening right before your very face. Yes. And uh, I try to make it. I even proposed to you a situation on the phone. I said, Hey, how about we? film today but we upload it next week we'll just skip this week that way it'll kind of give you some time to like mm, focus and you that. said nah the I show just, must go on my boy it must go on um yes it it, it doesn't hurt to just do it you so know what i is, mean this is this is top tier priority for you and for us for us yeah and not only that i told you i said i don't want to regret not posting weekly Listen a week when we don't when it, we haven't hit doable. 100 no when we haven't Ooh, hit 100 okay we're almost there. Why? I'll just put in the work. Okay, but but I'll also put in once the we work. hit hundred, we're not stopping either. No, 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 no. But it was a you know it was yeah, it was it was a motivational it was a mo factor. Uh, to that. It was a little uh, motivational factor, just like you said. So, yeah. you know that's what's really keeping me going. And no, of course not. Once we hit hundred, that doesn't mean you know we're gonna lag it now. No, no, no. That's not it. Mm -hmm. It's just it's special to me right now. It's yeah. our first hundred. It's our first hundo. And not you only say that, hundred or you say hundo. Um. What do you say? Shut up with that already. <laughs> oh, why am I even answering you? I don't know. That's why I keep going. <laughs> Just shut up. Don't entertain me, dude. <laughs> Caete. Um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's, it's been hectic, but we're here. We're and, here. And, and I haven't seen you. You were in Tulum. Tulum. And um, you had a, it looked like you had a great time. It was, um, it was amazing. It looked amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. We it was so I'll, cool talk, what you I'll did. talk a little bit about it. Yeah. I don't want to get too much into the dirty deets, but before we start, this is very random. My brain is working at 100 miles an hour now. Keep your eyes on me right now. Don't look away. Okay. How do you say per in Spanish? Don't look away. Oh. Uh, Pop quiz, motherfucker. 
for you. Come on, bro. Why did I look at your bulge? <laughs> it's very bulgy today. <laughs> I don't know. Come on. Because I hate that word. I don't care. Ronroneo. 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 Ron Everybody back at home knows it already, <laughs> and I don't. You but know why? Because I hate that I'm word. I'm going to ask you on episode 100. I hate that and word. You need to know next Ron time. Ronroneo. Yeah. Ronroneo. Okay. Yes. Uh, Tulum cool. was incredible. I loved it. We actually went. We were shooting some Salud content. We have a new flavor that's going to be announced in two. It'll actually be announced next week. Uh, it's a it's a new energy flavor, uh, and it's very exciting. Have you do you know what flavor it is? I think you told me. Yeah, I think it's. I'm not gonna say it, right? Uh, don't say it. Yeah, we can say it next episode. Yeah, but I'm really excited about this energy flavor. Uh, I love our energy products, so I think this me too. Be a super banger. I think everybody loves your energy products. Yeah, the energy uh, products is where it's at. Obviously, people know us, and yeah. when we give them stuff that you know, when we give people product that they already know us, yeah. Of course, they're gonna say, "Oh, I love it! I right, love it!" But right. they genuinely do. I feel that. I feel the genuineness. And they really like energy and focus. I feel the My energy. My fiance, future wife, in yeah. a couple of days, <laughs> she is obsessed with it. She's yeah. not about energy products. I love pre-workout. Yeah. I love caffeine. You like the jitters. I love caffeine. I I yeah. love Monster. Yeah. You know, I love Salud. Even more I than love Monster. More than Monster, of course. I didn't pay him to say that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. I love energy. I love I like I like Celsius. Mm -hmm. I, I like the I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I yeah. go to the gas station, that's what I buy. Absolutely. Um you know, and you are too. That's why you created the line. Exactly. Um, but it's really good. Yeah. And I mean, you can't beat those freaking flavors. No. You no, can't. No. And you know what's crazy is that nobody's doing it like ain't you. nobody doing it like us. you don't uh, go to the gas station and you pick up an energy drink whether it be in a can in a pouch or yeah. in your nalgas and no. it's it says jamaica you, it's, it's and it says not, sandia it's it's, it's and not it there. says horchata and it says limon fresa what piña i mean the list goes Lo que on sea, we got it and all. not only do you have you know those flavors you have a shitload of flavors, a shitload of flavors. and that is awesome you said it best brother pat yourself on the back hey scratch your webbles um, so we also went to Tulum because we're doing a really, 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 really cool giveaway. Uh, and you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say. Have you announced it? I haven't announced it yet because I want, I want it to be like a big old special announcement. We have a new flavor. Is this a the, the Josh Layla? This is with exclusive. The Plastica this, exclusive? This only stays here. Wow. This only stays here. Wow. The giveaway is not live yet. I don't want to confuse anybody, okay. but I went to Tulum. You're going to say dates and shit? I'm not going to say dates. Oh, okay. But, but I will say that the giveaway starts in July. Okay. First week of July is when the giveaway is going to start. There's a lot of moving parts to make sure this happens correctly. And okay, all that stuff. Okay. But we're going to be doing a Tulum giveaway. You uh, just don't Sunday. stop, do you? I just, I'm a giver, my man. You like to make people I like smile, to give, I like huh? to smile. You like to make people travel. Yeah. I think one recommendation, mm -hmm. recommendation Give them to me. for the followers back at home is that if you're a subscriber to Lee Platica, you get the exclusive. You get the exclusive, but not only that, I. If you follow La Platica, I highly suggest you should, if you don't have one already, you should apply for a passport. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really good <laughs> because point. Because this man yeah. likes to fly people out, I'll out of the country. Where do you want to go? So uh, you should definitely have a passport. Mm -hmm. And uh, lady, I'm looking at you. You're probably mm -hmm. looking at your husband, your your, your, your your boyfriend. Yeah. Your mother. Signi your significant son. other. Whoever it is, and you're like, I told you to get a passport. Yeah, she did tell you to get a passport already. This is your sign to get a passport. What about if you win? You if you if you win and you don't have a passport, what are you gonna do? You don't get passports like you used to, like back in the day. Uh, you don't want to get passed up. You don't want to get passed up. <laughs> you don't want to, you know, get a DM saying congratulations. You're going to Tulum. Yeah. And hope uh, you got a passport. Hey, I don't have a passport. Can I give it to my, you know, whoever has a passport? No, you can't do that. They're no, for you. It's for you. Get a passport. <laughs> Thank that, you. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's exciting. It's, and it's really I cool. can't join these giveaways, right? Unfortunately, you, you told not. me I can't no, do it. No, okay. no, 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 no. Yeah, you are completely banned from any winnings that may happen. Is that fair? That's fair, right? That's fair, right? You know what? Give it to somebody else. Because <laughs> I'm a winner, baby. You're a winner. Yeah. Chicken dinner. Uh, just to clarify, the giveaway is not live yet. But as soon as it goes live, I promise you we'll make an announcement letting you guys know how to enter the giveaway. Um, but yeah, that's exciting. Wow. That's happening. That, that, that to love. To love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, man. That's awesome, dude. It's awesome. It's awesome. No possible. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in a writing mood today, my boy. I'm excited for that, man. Yeah. Tulum is beautiful. It's amazing. I, I mean, love from it. what you've yeah. I've never been. I've only been to uh, Cancun, yeah. which is nearby. Yeah. Um, but 
it, it looks amazing. My my fiance just went and she loved it. The so water, cool. especially like the ocean out there, is beautiful. Yeah. It's like crystal blue waters, jungle vibes. And it's a it, whole aesthetic. And and Tulum it, is very specific. Yeah. It's a whole aesthetic. Do you think it's more chill vibes or party vibes or both? Both. Oh wow. Both. You can do both. So I'm assuming you're gonna give them money. They're gonna get it all. Uh, you think I'm just gonna send them? No, they're gonna get plane, hooked up. Plane tickets. Your supply of salute, your some supply money. Salute. I'm gonna put them in a nice spot. For a flight's gonna be paid for. Whatever. All they need to bring is just a, a smile <laughs> and their passport. I said they're gonna go. They're going to the loom. That's awesome, man. Lou is sending them to the loom. Welcome to episode 94. That's what I like to hear, brother. <laughs> we doing it. That's what is I like this to my hear. year anniversary, by I the way? I was about to say that. Um, I don't know if this week is your year anniversary. Or next week. I want to say it is. But I week. think we're going to have to wait to party next week because yeah. we don't have anything ready for you. So no shot, at least? Oh, my God. I would love to take a shot with you right now. Not only because I need one, because I'm just me and my fiance are just like, la, 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 la. Yeah. But, like... It feels good to film with you. I'm I not ignoring right you, by now. the way. I'm just checking when my when that year is. I'm not ignoring you. Yeah, go. You know what? Check. Well, I pull up. The, so the first official episode that I was announced as the co-host was June 13th. Oh my god! Is that today? It's tomorrow. Oh my god! It it, it actually is today. The day that we upload this podcast will be exactly one year. That I've been on LP, if you know what I mean, Jelly Bean. Are you down with LPP? You're down with LPP? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> wow, Josh, that One is year. that is crazy. I remember when I first called you and I was yeah. like, hey, uh, <laughs> you know, I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> what it, character is that? Never I, seen it's it. a little joker. Okay, that is a little joker. Yeah. Um, Give me more. Voila. Whoa, that was not... That was weird. Let's not do that, okay? Foe. Look, <laughs> it's it's a beautiful thing, man. Did honestly. you just call me foe? Yeah, you made me say foe. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, brother. It oh, really yeah. is. You are my brother. You are not only my brother. You're one of my best friends. You are an amazing, an amazing host of this show. This show is not La Platica without you anymore. And this show is... <laughs> this show is not La Platica without you anymore. Yeah. Yeah, sure. It sounded <laughs> kind of weird, right? Yeah. But it, here you go, sir. Thank you, sir. But it just, it's its surreal to me. I was speaking with my One fiance year. the other day, and you know, it, it's, it's, it, it makes me somewhat emotional that we've done it. 52 episodes that, that I've been at the permanent co-host. Yeah, there's 52 weeks in the year. We've actually probably done more, between 52 and 55 episodes that we've shot. It's just... It's crazy. It's nice. And and not only that, like, thank you. But like, not only that, like, thank everybody back at home for just for, 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 for being so supportive yeah. and having me and Josh something to look forward to as well. Yeah. You know, we, we absolutely love what we do. We absolutely love you guys. Um, it's, it's, it's a blessing. There's, yeah. I, I mean, there's so many highlights in the black guy recently, know. you know, I that know. I can talk and talk, but I think that next week it should be a special one. Yeah. It's, it's, we I'll, I'll figure it out uh, we'll, we'll do something and um yes let's, let's do that why didn't we like figure this out you know, last you know, week you know every we time do? hold on i want to tell them every time that we were like talking about like yeah it's coming up yeah it's in june we know it <laughs> like since april we've been talking about it yeah it's, it, yeah dog it's in june we filmed it in june <laughs> but we never looked at the actual date yeah. and every time we talk about it we're always like it's coming up no you were like Oh, yeah, and a little bit I'll see what day it was. And we never did it until <laughs> right did. now. We never did. So we're definitely going to do something, bro. You, you know what we should do? We should do like a trivia thing as far as like what the year recap of, of, of you know, me coming on. Maybe you like ask me specific things and see if I can remember, I can recall specific episodes or things that happened. That's good. Something like that. You something, know what I mean? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. My man, cheers to a year. Cheers to you. Cheers to you guys. Yes, sir. And uh, once again, thank you for everything. Absolutely. Bro. Thank you, bro. I, this has been an absolute pr privilege and honor. And it's just the beginning. Just the beginning. Imagine that. I'll drink to that, my knee. I'll drink to that, my knee. Nah, I mean. Mm. That one felt good. That one felt good. Had a, had a, had a, uh, like a, a, a yearly undertone. You know what I mean? Like a <laughs> <laughs> Stupid though. Um... <laughs> Episode 94, um, let's get into it. Let's we, do it. We don't have too much time. If you guys don't know, um, I'm going to be real with you guys. Be you, real. You guys are watching this today. Yeah. We just filmed this less than 12 hours ago. This is correct. And I'm going to try to flip it immediately. So 
I, I'm just busy. I don't have time for tomorrow. I don't have I, I don't have time Thursday, and I don't have time Friday, and yeah. I don't have time Saturday, and I Saturday. It's the big day. And I don't have time Sunday. Are you busy? I'm busy, G. <laughs> hey, what are you doing Saturday? You busy? <laughs> Shit, man. This is crazy, bro. It's, honestly, I'm just like at a point right now at, at, in the podcast, this podcast, where I'm just mm-hmm. like, I'm overwhelmed, but like in a really good way. Okay. I got my I got our wedding rings today. No way. Yeah. The bands. The bands. Uh, they, they're like incredible. Well, you, you, you know me. I don't really. Mine's not really a band. Oh, yours is the whole thing. Mine's like very unique. Very simple, but unique. Ooh. You know, people like they, they, they get bands. It's a regular golden band. Yeah. Which are beautiful. Yeah. But I you said, were, the men only wear the band, right? I said, this ain't me. This ain't you. I said, it needs to be a little spiced up. So maybe mm. I'll show you guys um, after. I'll show you after this pod. Okay. It's just a band, right? So the band that you're going to get, I'm sorry, I don't know. Forgive my ignorance. Karen has an engagement ring. Yes, that's what you that she's been asked wearing. to, will you marry me? That's Correct. The and that's the ring. big rock. That's, that's, the, that, yeah. that's the holy moly guacamole. That's daddy. That, that's, that's, that's forever. That's daddy. So when they, you guys exchange rings, it's going to be the band that you put. Wedding band. Wedding band. So the band that you wear is the band that you, you wear forever. Yeah. I don't get anything when we get engaged. You get a beautiful bride. A beautiful one. That's what you get, my boy. That's what you get, my boy. But on Saturday, I'll get my own. And that's the one I wear. Damn. Yeah. Crazy, huh? Are you going to be the type of guy that, like, you, you, you're you going to never take it off? No. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Like, you you never take it off? Or, or and you, and, and, and oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 what are you going to do with your ring? I'm all excited. I'm like, are you can never take it off? What's no, the like, question, Josh? Okay, like, so people, like, that never take it off, they have two rings, right? Like, they have the actual band. And then there's people that start wearing, like, the rubber bands because, like, the rubber band rings. Because they want to be able to work out with them and stuff like that. Like, they always have to have the engagement ring on. So you're going to be the one that like, yo, I'm going to work out. I don't need to wear my my ring. Or you're going to get the rubber band. The rubber band band. First of all, I haven't thought that far. You got to think that far, dude. That's why I'm here. Thank you. But second, I don't think I'm going to be the the rubber band Rubber guy. band band guy? No, I don't think I am. Um, If I'm working out or it's it's gold. Yeah. With steel. I don't want it. You know, if I'm working out, I don't want it to scratch. That's uncomfortable. So I'll take it off. Take it off. It's not a big deal if I take it off. Or I leave it at home. And when I come back home, but other than that, it will be on me. Unless it's going to get messed up in some way. Because it's a very special thing for me. Yeah. You know? So no rubber band band. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's a thing. I know that. Where is your loyalty? I know. uh, (laughs) Loyalty? 14 years with my girl. <laughs> that was fair. Uh, I just like to stir the pot, my boy. Uh, um, I know that it's a thing that um, chicks, when they go on vacation. They get, I like this. They I know get you're like, this. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure they get, they can go on Amazon and buy fake yeah. diamond rings. That's a great idea. Um, so they wear that instead of their ring. I love that. Because they don't want to, you That's, know, they don't want something to yeah, happen. Yeah, I love that. I'm going to do that Whether for my wife. Whether they be lost or stolen. Fake rings, yeah. Yeah. So just flaunt them. And they look goddamn they look real. Legit, yeah. Especially to like the untrained eye. Yeah. I, I couldn't tell. Yeah. But I was, I was, I was telling my, my, my fiance, I said, this is kind of interesting because if you don't want to wear your wedding ring on vacation because you're scared you're going to lose it, get it stolen, right. you're going to, you know, I got my girl a nice one. Yeah. It, it's, it's a good size. Um, so it can be a little bit like sketch if we take it out. You know, you can flaunt it. You never know nowadays, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but I said you should get one the same thing. A replica. A replica, same size and stuff. I was like, but wait. There's more. Even though you get a fake one, if you lose it, cool. That's fine. It's nothing, right? But sometimes when you wear expensive stuff it doesn't have to be a ring it can be a watch it can be a bracelet it can be a necklace something of value it draws attention it's still it draws attention. That same attention so how does a person if you were ever in a situation which i hope nobody will ever be in this situation yeah that is still gonna whether it be fake or not it still causes attention for sure for so sure. you will still if it happens to you which i hope it doesn't but it would still yeah cause attention i see what you're saying so let's just fake say, or not yeah i told her i was like maybe you should just not wear the ring not wear it but i get what she's saying because 
you know, when you're married, you're married. You like you like yeah, to show it. Yeah, and then you want to let people know. Yes. Don't get it twisted. Which is cool. Yeah. But maybe get like not so blingy. I don't know, maybe not so blingy. Yeah, more more low key. Maybe right? a, a rubber band band. A rubber band band. I doubt my girl. Works <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, even me saying that, just picturing Karen, Karen with a rubber band band. I was like, I could never picture that. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know about that one. But isn't it interesting how, like that, whether it be fake or not, yeah, yeah. it's still gonna uh, gasp, uh, grasp, gasp, grasp, that garner a, that attention. Which is kind of scary. Yeah, though. but in this situation, let's say worst comes to worst, right? Like we're talking about like the worst case scenario. Somebody comes and is like, like with a gun, right? Like give me your shit, your ring, right? You just here, take it by all means, please. Sure, 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 sure. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then it's like in that case, like whatever. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah. it. And that's best case right. scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me your shit. You know, yeah, that's best case case scenario. But you're still in that, you know, that's still a scary. You're situation. still in that scenario. Yeah, you're still in that scenario. The worst is when you're wearing something, and I've been there. You've been wrong? No. Where I've been in a situation where it's like, maybe somebody next to me is wearing something, maybe I'm wearing something, and you're at a restaurant, maybe not in the country, mm -hmm. and you know you have eyes on you. Mm. That can feel a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah. Nothing happened. Yeah, but you feel but it. But it is uncomfortable. You're like, Yo, I'm that, dripping right now. That's I know the eyes Yeah, that me. scenario is... It, it's scary yeah bro. i see what you're saying you know what I mean? what you're saying. Yeah. so but yeah i found that kind of interesting how it's like fake or not it's yeah. still a thing yeah. yeah the attention is still there yeah so i think i don't know something something low-key i think would be the the answer to things like that but what oh we're bam bam stop <laughs> stop do you say stop or <laughs> i say shut up <laughs> i say shut the fuck up that's what i say <laughs> <laughs> uh what were we saying yeah uh, today we're doing an episode again of full yeah. control yeah. um i like these episodes i, I feel like the people back at home that also follow la platica pod on, on instagram because we're actually kind of active on there and we always ask you guys questions and for example today like last episode uh, by the way if you're new here welcome we've already introduced ourselves but welcome 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 thank you for tuning in but we always ask you guys you know questions sometimes we like you guys to take control of the pod yeah uh, for some reason Hmm? They always have amazing questions. What's up with that? What's uh, yeah? What's like, up with that? They think they're all fucking cool. And shit? You guys think you guys are better than us? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you guys really do have the best questions. They really do. They really so, do. So um, we screenshot a lot of these questions. So today is another episode of Full Control. Full Control. I like how we just named it Full Control. I right? love this. It's kind of cool. Uh, do you say cool or cool? I say cool. Shut up. <laughs> so you do that. <laughs> So you guys gave amazing questions and we're gonna answer them as best as we can. Hey, take the lead, baby. I feel like we two individuals that that, that you know we, we we've lived a good you know we've lived a life of where we can create good answers. Uh, yeah, kinda, kinda. Hey, before we get into these questions, yeah, I I I want to dig in a little into your mind. What? I'm being serious right now. Okay. Okay. You are an incredible person. Thank you. I admire you. Thank I you. admire your relationship. I admire your whole life, your your family life, everything. I think you are an incredible person. I think that you are an amazing, uh, you have a lot of insight to offer. And I think this is a very special moment where you're at currently in your life right now. Mm -hmm. And I think that you, you should do a service to the world and give some insight and perspective of these last moments prior to you being married and potentially give some advice or uh, uh, something that somebody can take away before they are about to step into yeah. this next chapter in their life. This is the only moment that you will be here, dude. So I think it's it'll be kind of cool to kind of hear maybe some wise words from a decent man. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a, a lesson something that you took away in this whole journey that led yeah. you to this very moment that you're about to step into yeah i'm curious because i am not there yet i mean you, I, you I will put be. me on the spot yeah I, hell yeah, yeah, yeah my yeah, boy man. welcome to lp number one latino podcast in the world according to google that is i never said that man i mean someone like myself i might be someone different that you might not have met before i might have a different personality than somebody but i've been with my girl for a very long time and it's been amazing and it's been ups it's been downs it's been this is why i believe that relationships like you told me the other day um are do you believe in soulmates soulmates 
And at first I wanted to say no. But yeah, why not? Of course. I think someone can find their soulmate. Yes, of course. I found my soulmate for sure. But I not only found my soulmate, I found somebody that is different than me. I'm different than her. At the end of the day, I truly believe that most relationships are just built. And if the other person is willing to build with you and built on themselves as well. The person that I am right now, I, I completely different than as a, as a fiance, as a boyfriend, I'm completely a different fiance, a different boyfriend than what I was maybe in the beginning when I was a boyfriend or fiance. And that's because I've chiseled myself to my partner mm. and she has as well. And I think if you can have both respect for each other, I think that is key. Mm. Um, but like I said, I, I, I feel like there's so many things at our age from when I was 19 to now, there's so many things that went so different than what I thought was going to be. I guess what I'm trying to say is a life goes by really fast. I think you should enjoy every single moment where, regardless if you think it should be happening at this moment or not. Mm. And now that I think about it, now that I'm going to go into the next chapter of my life, I look at all those moments that I, th that I thought were super like sick. And now I'm just like, that was the little, like, as cool as they were, this, uh, hopefully I'm making sense. As cool as all those moments were when I was with Karen and we did all these things and these amazing uh, experience that I will never forget. I know now that the best is yet to come, like you said. Mm. Like, as a human being, sometimes you feel like, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, this is cool, like I'm living my life, or maybe I'm not. But I know now being married, I am about to be a real man. And I'm about to witness re what real men do. Mm. And I'm about to witness what a real relationship is. And this next chapter of my life is gonna, I feel like, um, I don't know, it, 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 it feels like, like I'm about to, my, my spiritual body is gonna witness a lot more things that I've been missing out on this whole time. And like I said on the other episode, um, life's too short to be dwelling on shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Does that, do, do I make sense? Right Absolutely. Now? Absolutely. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm leaving, uh, it's just like, the thing is like, I didn't meet Karen just like a year or two right, ago. Right. I, she's been my life. Yeah. Um, I've also lived with Karen. Yeah. I got asked the other day, this question about, how, are you like, I think my mom called me. She goes, como te sientes? And I said, mom, I, I feel the same. I feel good. I feel happy. And it's not that, it's not that I should be feeling a different way. I'm extremely happy right now. I'm nervous that I'm me and Karen are about to throw this wedding. Yeah. And it's fair. I'm, I want everything to be right. Mm -hmm. And I want everybody to, it, I want it to be memorable. I yeah. want it to be super memorable for my fiance as well. And, but the thing is, is that I've lived with Karen already. I know what I'm getting myself into. I've been with her and I'm so happy that I did. Yeah. And I kind of did it the opposite way of what my culture does because I don't know, I, but I know that the next morning or that day, my life is going to change. It's going to change. And there's going to be a spark in my head. Yeah. That I'm just like, damn. Yeah. I feel different. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I had a, uh, 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 you know what? Let me hold that thought. Let's go on a quick break. You sure you don't just want to say it? No. Let's go on a quick break. I need a beat. <laughs> <laughs>
Dang, they won. Yeah. Wow, they won. Bro, it was almost a sweep. That's crazy. The Nuggets were just that team. It was their season. There was no competition. There's no competition. Wow. No comp. Congratulations to the Denver Nuggets who just won the NBA Finals. I guess. I guess. <laughs> uh, the Joker Jokic. Yeah, he's he, sick, he did man. his thing. He's sick, man. He's sick. The fact that he wears his his wedding ring on his shoes. That's great. See. Speaks volumes. You know what I mean? It's he seems like a rubber band band kind of guy. It's things like that. Yeah. But for me personally, like we were just talking about, um, I know that I have another life ahead of me. And it's going to be so different than 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 what it used to be. And yeah. It doesn't matter if I'm, you know, older than 30 years old. I have a, it doesn't matter, you know, like it, 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 I have such a, I feel like another life is coming. Yeah. And I can't wait. And I, it's going to be filled with happiness that I've never really dealt with. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes any sense. It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of um, sense. Like I was saying before the break, I have a friend who just got married. Shout out to my boy, Steven of 17 years. I've known that guy. Known him longer than Karen. Um, he just got married. He said, bro, he goes, I went, what do you say? Either on vacation or I went to New York or I went somewhere. He goes, but having a wedding ring makes you feel so much different. And the guy's a great guy. Yeah. And um, I, I I said, really? I was like, how so? He goes, I can't explain it. So I'm I'm interested in Whoa, yeah. seeing what that feels like. Yeah. And I know, you know, it's like having a kid. I don't yeah. know. You, you don't know how, that love. Right. Right. So I just know that there's way more love. So I don't know if I answered that question you did. correctly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean... I think that's what life is. I think life is is sharing it with somebody, mm -hmm. is creating another you, mm -hmm. is eating, breathing, laughing, you yeah. know, sharing mm -hmm. happiness with the ones you love, whether that be family, friends, acquaintances, whatever. Mm -hmm. I think life should be just joy, whether it doesn't matter what situation you're in. Yeah. You know, you can be happy however. I think it says a lot about your character, how you answer that question. And I'll explain what I mean. Um, I think that you understand that you are entering a new chapter in your life and you know that it is going to be different. There's a new responsibility. There's a new duty. There's a new energy that's going to take place that once you take on that role of becoming a husband. Mm -hmm. And even though you've been with Karen for so long, you guys have lived together. I love the fact that you're like, there is a new duty that I'm stepping into. There's a yeah. new responsibility. It's not, it, it is going to be the same in the sense of like, I know who I'm marrying, but I know my role is going to change as a, cause now I'm taking on the husband role. Yeah. I love that, bro. Cause a lot of, I don't think a lot of, I'm, I'll speak for men, you know, think like that. Ah, I'm just getting married. It's going to be the same thing. I've been with her for 10 years. Yeah. What's going to change? No, a lot should change. You're a husband now. Yeah. Your responsibility is going to change. You're, 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 you guys are getting in, you're going to potentially be parents. You're going to be a father. Yeah. That response, that role is going to be different. Yeah. I'm a roles guy. I love having specific roles and I love yeah. doing what I need to, what needs to be done. And I know when I'm a husband, my role as like a husband is going to be different than how it looks now as a boyfriend. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't like to be the type of person that talks about like showing people who you are. Cause I don't think you should care about what anybody thinks about you. Yeah. But I'm also a believer that I have a role mm -hmm. and I do want to show people what a great person I am, what a great husband I can be, what a great father I can be, you know, if yeah. that happens. Yeah. Um, and then it's a responsibility. That, it is a responsibility. And it's, you're a unique situation where you are, your, your life is out there, you know? Yeah. So you have like a responsibility to really create a presence, to create a, a standard, to show what it is to be a man in your eyes. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah, to yeah. fulfill that responsibility. Yeah. I definitely yeah. do believe that. Yeah. You know, that that's just part of the territory of what you do and yeah. what Karen does and like the how you guys have opened your lives to people. Yeah. So you are like, even if you don't want to be, you've kind of taken on, that's what's going to come with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think you're the perfect person for it. Let's hope. Don't fuck it up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um. Even though I feel like I'm grown already, I feel like I've only scraped a little bit of that surface. Mm -hmm. That makes any sense. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Because as a, to, to be, I like, look at my mother and or my father, and I still feel like, even though like you were my age and you already had all these kids, I still feel like they were so different than me. 
not like an old school way or anything like that, but they had this fact, this it's factor of them mm -hmm. that was so parenting. This is like grown, mature. More, yeah, almost yeah. more than me right at this moment. Mm. And maybe it is because they were married. They had kids. They had all this. They had more responsibility, you know? Yeah. So I almost can't wait to feel that. Yeah. You know, but, I, I know it's going to change me. But for sure, yeah. for sure. But also, I don't, and I'm not saying you are, but you shouldn't compare your life to for anybody's sure. life. For sure. Not even your parents. Yeah, yeah. Times are different. Your yeah. guys is, your career is different. Everything is just so different. It's not going to look the same. Yeah. And we don't know how they felt at that time. Yeah. And maybe they didn't feel the way we view them now. Maybe they felt the same way you did that you currently feel. Yeah. We don't know. You know, so there's no, but the point is you shouldn't be comparing your life to anybody. Yeah. It's it's your own journey. It's your own experience. I completely, yep, I, I agree. Yeah, but I understand what you're saying. I definitely yeah. understand what you're saying. But what I'm trying to say at the end of the day is the way I feel now, I feel like I'm responsible. I, mm -hmm. I could have more priorities strained up. Sure. Yeah. I think for the rest of our lives, we're going to be like that. But I, like I said, I feel like I've just scratched a little bit of the surface. I think there's still so much more to to live yeah and you're also open to growth you know of that course. you still have so much more to offer and to learn and i think that's great dude mm -hmm. and i think that's why exactly i wanted it i wanted you to kind of express w these moments before you enter that new chapter in your life because yeah. of your perspective that i know you have yeah that you could share with people yeah it's cool being with my fiance for so long as well then having this wedding and and um you know enjoying our day we almost kind of feel like we deserve it absolutely we almost kind of yeah, I know, but you, you, you can hear me right now, and I'm like, oh, I deserve it. Yeah, of course I do, right? But, like, I don't know, it's, it's different when you uh, when I can say this to you, and then I say this to Karen. She has a different answer than what you say. Mm -hmm. She goes, she I don't know what she'll say, because I forgot what she told me the other day. But, like, you say, like, yeah, of course. But to us, it's just, like, it's it's, it's more deep than that, if that makes any sense. Oh, I gotcha. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's definitely yes. And, like, me and Karen, if I tell her, like, like yeah, like we can, and then we can talk about other stuff that like we can feel that like oh like it's it's, it's this is our time, mm. you know what I mean? Like it's if I ask ten people that 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 are not my fiance, I said I feel like we deserve it. They're gonna say the same thing. Of course you do, but if I ask Karen, it's gonna be a different answer. It's not mm. gonna be like no, but it's gonna be like yes, we do. Plus blah 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 blah. Yeah. You yeah, know it's what I mean? It's a different weight. It's a different way, yeah. yeah. And, and and I don't know, it's, it's it's crazy. I mean, I grew up with her, basically. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna speak for the behalf of a lot of people watching. I know they're gonna side with me on this. Yeah. A lot of people are excited for you guys to get married, man. Yeah, thank you. We like, you, thank got, you, guys. you guys have shared you guys' life. Yeah. And a lot of people ad admire you guys. Uh, and I think they really respect the relationship that you guys have. Um, I think they appreciate your guys' heart and your kindness. And I know a lot of people who have met you guys out on the street. I've seen it. You guys, like, you give people so much, like, warmth. And you guys make people feel like family. And now you guys are entering this, like, new phase of being married and stuff like that. And I just know people are really, really excited and happy for you guys. Yeah. And I definitely think that they, those people also believe that you guys deserve it. Yes. And them being able to witness it all kind of shape into this point now, I think is very, uh, I think, yeah, I think a lot cool. of people are really excited for it. it. And I'm very fortunate to be a part of it in, yeah. in every possible way, like being a groomsman, being able to attend the wedding and yeah. stuff. Uh, I'm really, I'm looking forward to it too, man. I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm cool to, I feel like I'm even soaking this all in for myself because like, like you're one of my best friends and then being able to see you go through this chapter in this new phase and I get to just like witness and experience it all like on this side and learn from it all is really cool for me. It's really, really cool. Yeah. And that's why I'm also very curious. I was like, what is, like, how do you feel? Like, what, yeah. what are these, what are some thoughts you can share pre, yeah. pre-married to us? I'll tell you this. It's not that I'm overwhelmed. I'm not stressed. I don't know, it's this, it's this feeling that I have almost, not anxiety, but like, I feel, I don't know. It's, you got it's, cold feet? No. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna book it? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I don't know. It's this. It's this. It's this real world punch that I'm getting right now, mm. and it's good. Is it a little surreal? It, that I think that might be one of the word, words. Yeah. It's it, it's surreal. Yeah. It's holy shit. It's it's this is crazy. I'm really doing this. Like you always say the other day, it's like this is 
I can't believe I'm saying this is your batch. <laughs> I can't believe we're saying yeah. this is your week. Yeah, you yeah. know, this is, you know, your and your fiance's this. Yeah. It's, uh, it is a surreal feeling. And it's, it's today's Tuesday and um, it's just getting closer and closer. Closer and closer. It's almost like, boo. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, there's so many things that you pay attention to that you don't normally pay attention to on a regular day basis where you don't have anything planned. Um, but yeah, it's it's it, it, it it's good. It's yeah. good. And um, maybe on the next episode we can talk about the aftermath <sighs> and uh, all of that. So love that man. It's good. But yes, anyways, thank you for that question. That no, was bro, that was nice for, and for intimate insight. Yeah, and I uh, hope we gave somebody some intimacy with that. Into me, you see. Into me, you see. That's what into me really means. All right, let's get. Do you into... have a question for me, sir? What do you mean? Oh, like a. Uh... Full control question. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, uh, real quick. Yeah, I don't think. Huh? What's going on? Are we out of tequila? I'm over it, dude. <laughs> do we drink that much? We need to have. We need to have piles of tequila at all times. Piles, in abundance. Well, it's okay. We're we, out of that one. Yes, we don't. Uh, we don't need it. Yeah, we don't. We're good. Let's go. Uh, you. I feel like you might have more questions than I do, but uh, this one's a very Sebas questions, and it's just one word. And I think they just want our our insight and what we think. And I, we talk about this quite a bit, but fuck it. Aliens. There's a lot of UFO sightings that have been popping up recently. Oh, man, I feel like it's more than ever now. It's crazy. I do. I'm a big nerd for space and i'm yeah. a big nerd for sci-fi yeah. and some might say you're out of this world i believe in science some might say i'm out of this world which i am so are you <laughs> never mind um <laughs> forget it yeah i believe in aliens of course yeah i, I do, do too i do too um there's no way there's not why why are we the what well, you think we're the only creatures do existing you, existing in this galaxy the galaxy is infinite it's infinite uh so right now there's been a lot of uh ufo sightings right but the government hasn't officially really come out and say like there's aliens right there's ufos like they're they're roaming around us like they kind of have but they haven't really 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 said it right do you think that it would cause chaos if they actually did admit it or actually did say like hey there's yeah. aliens out there i think it would too it's the first time that it would probably ever happen where yeah. they actually admit it and um, I think it would cause a lot of fear. Would you be scared? Depends. It just depends. Yeah, I it guess depends right. on yeah why our neighbors are here. Yeah. yeah, are they here to take over? Or are they here to say what's up? I mean, trying to come on LP. I mean, I would. I would definitely have an alien here. I would <laughs> love that. That would be crazy. Put these on. Yeah. <laughs> You know, who knows, yeah. bro? If there was an alien, mm -hmm. I would tell him be a part of LP. With yeah, us. absolutely. They could be our third co-host. Yeah, That'd this mic's always here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I do believe in aliens. Me it, too. It, it's it's since I'm not like this big like you know like oh that happened because there's aliens. Yeah, I'm gonna know? I'm gonna no, say something I, a little. I, I do believe in aliens. Yeah, I'm gonna say something a little aggressive right now. If I ask somebody, yo, do you believe in aliens? And they go, no. I think that they're so small minded. Yeah. Cause if you are like, do you understand life and space yeah. and the things around us? Like, or do you you just think it's just us? Like that to me is crazy. I've heard this like one thing where uh, I think it was like Neil deGrasse Tyson. He was talking about like how much space we've like uh, discovered, like how much we've been able to see and nothing. Well, they say like uh, if you were to grab the whole ocean, like the whole ocean is space and you grab a cup and you go like this into that's the ocean. How that's how much space we like have discovered. Yeah. Well, because it's infinite. This cup right here. Yeah. This cup right here. Yeah. So it's like and you're telling me. So it's like, you're like saying like, is there any sharks in the ocean? And then I grab a cup and I get the, I'm in the ocean and I'm like, and I look at the cup and there's no sharks. I'm like, nah, there's that's, no sharks. That's in the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. If well, you tell me that there is no aliens, got my face. Let's not discredit humanity for our achievements that we've done with space patrolling. Yeah. Cause we've built some pretty amazing stuff. Yeah. Um, and we've discovered some pretty amazing stuff, but yeah, you're right. We have. Not even a cup. 
If not, you, not even a cup. It's not even a shot glass. Uh, yeah. Not even a shot glass. Yeah. I mean, you can't really put it into a definition of how much we've discovered because the space, the universe, the galaxies, whatever you want to call it, it's infinite. I told you the other day. I, I don't judge people. But if you, if I ask you, you believe in aliens, and you tell me no, like that, all sangron, get on my face. I don't want to talk face. to you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I just know what kind of person you are. Yeah, I just but know. I'm not saying I'm this big alien geek either, but I do. Like, <laughs> there's more than just aliens too. There's more stuff out there. That Here's the thing. I think people we like, are aliens to others. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, some good looking aliens. Though. I'll tell damn, you. Damn, we some fine ass aliens. I'll tell you that much. Shit. Bomb. Man. You say fine or you say fine? Shit, I say boing. <laughs> <laughs> boing. Well, yeah, there's, yeah. Uh, you know. It's... Aliens are real. I, I like to think so. Thank you. I like to, I, I don't, it's like not even that I, one thing is thinking that they're real, sure. But one thing is wanting to want, wanting to, wanting it to be real. Like I want it to be real. I think that's cool. Yeah. You know, like one person can be like, oh, I believe in aliens, but I wish it wasn't real or I wish it wasn't true. Really? Like they want to be the center of the Yeah. Universe? Yeah, like but just, I'm not like that. I, like, I really hope that there is. That's amazing. That's insane. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Next question. You're welcome. That was a good answer. I definitely think that there's aliens and there's evidence that we hide. <laughs> You're freaking me out, dude. Yeah. Um, I got one. All right, hit me. Jay, hit me. Mm, an object, and one object. What is one object? You cannot live without object. One object, object, anything. M materialistic thing. An Something object. tangible. Anything tab tangible is an object. Sure, an object, not something that you think about. I mean, and you I, can think I about the object. And I, and I can't say salut. No, let's not say. <laughs> Don't say the easy one. Uh, okay. Do you have one? Um, one thing I cannot live without. Everybody would say phone, right? Uh, no, but no, no, it can't be those easy ones. Yeah. Um, one thing I cannot live without that I tend to have on me all the time. Let's be real too. Can we say like, can we say like five things? Sure. Why not? You know what I mean? Yeah. Can we say like five? Does yeah. that just be one? Cause it's hard. Yeah. yeah. Say things that you actually have. You know what? Like not things that like you would want. Yeah. Yeah. Cause then I wouldn't be answering the yeah, question. Yeah. So things that you have all the time on you. What's one thing that like, you can live Honestly, without? like I, I love, I love wearing deodorant. I need Let's it. hope. So I love like colognes, right? Okay. I love hair paste, crew okay. fiber. Crew fiber. That's my favorite. You trying to get a sponsor right now? Do I'm you? trying to get a sponsor crew. Okay. So What's deodorant, hair paste, cologne, and toothpaste. Got to keep toothpaste, that smile. That's four. One more thing. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This is like I can't live without. Wow. Uh. You go. You say four. So I can think of the last one. <laughs> um, one thing that I can't live without is I'm a huge car guy. Okay. So I need one. Like, I need a car. Like, you don't. I do. I need a car that I, I, I it represents myself. Yeah, take an Uber. I can't. I love to drive. I, I, I need a car. You need deodorant. I love deodorant. <laughs> but it can't be the white one. Huh? It can't be the... It the one that leaves the stretchy marks? The, the it can't leave the, the, leave, nah. the leaves the white. It has yeah. to be like the gel, kind of. Yeah. That you don't see it. You go gel? You know which one I've been switching on? Because I used to do the white one. I just know how to put on a shirt. You know what I mean? So I know how to avoid the white streaks. Got I'm it. an adult. Got it. You got it? Got it. But I do the spray now. Like, shh, shh. I feel like oh, those don't work so effectively. I have an Axe spray, I but got, I, it's more for on. like... No, it's not Axe. Don't ever... Don't, whoa. Oh, it's not Whoa, axe. no. It's Degree. Okay? Like, I went to Harvard, all right? I got a degree. Okay. Okay? Okay. Antiperspirant. No so axe. Whatever that means. So it means that it blocks the sweat. Got it. It doesn't always work um, as efficiently as you like. So is deodorant one of your answers? Eh, I can live without it. I'll find something natural. Um, I can't live without hats. Oh, that's a good one. I can't live without sunglasses. Ooh. And I've already said four? Three? You said three. Four. If you're not counting, the owner is three. Okay. And I can't live... I actually can't live without hair products because my hair... But without, you tend to wear hats more than I do. Yes. You're a hat guy. Yes, but when I do my hair, like, I'm a hat guy because of my hair. Yeah. I like wearing hats. 
But my hair is crazy, bro. If my hair is not done, and a lot of people hasn't, haven't seen me without my hair being done, but I when have. I wake up, <laughs> I look like Krusty the Clown. No, you look like... I look like it. You look like a troll doll. Yeah, li literally. Troll literally, doll. you yeah. nailed it. Yeah, I know. My hair, my texture of hair is very kinky. Trolly. Dry. And when it gets wet, it like repels water. Your hair is kinky? Yeah. That's not how that works. It does. Trust me. <laughs> look it up. Um, It's very wiry, my hair. Yeah. I don't know why. It so, never used to be like that. It like changed. I don't know. Hair product. What hair product specifically? I... It's, you know what i've been slicking my hair back i use kind of like um like texture pastes okay that are you know more water based so my hair can look like it was just freshly out the shower like that, that. kind of look yeah like the more you the know, wet look the more wet look wet look when i'm out and about and i know i'm not gonna have a hat on me and when i want it like nice and slick back i actually use gel like Damn. like 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 that mexican gel like the extreme wet yeah you know you guys know what i mean back at home so i wear that and then like some hairspray. Yeah. But I literally can't live without hair products because my hair is crazy, yeah. bro. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Um, so I said hair. Man, that's really it, bro. Um, for me and, and soon your wedding ring. My wedding ring. Uh, you know something I thought about? I, I I need some kind of I can't live without jewelry. Like I need something on me. I, you know what I mean? Like I, I just can't I've like had to take it off before for whatever reason. I don't know, like I have to go in like an exotic pool. I don't know. Right. And I have to take it off and I feel so weird. And I just feel like something's missing. Like the swag yeah. goo is yeah. just, just swag goo's gone. Swag goo's gone. Yeah. There's, I need a, there's something. something about having a naked neck yeah. that I'm just not about. I'm not about either. Yeah. I have to have also something. like a necklace. Yeah. Like even when at the gym, like I don't go without a necklace. No. Like I have to always have a necklace on or something. I wear my pros at the gym. Say, I don't give a hoot. That Who extra, gives a hoot? The extra pump, G. But yeah, that's really it. Yeah. Good, good, good question. That is a good question. Um, oh, you know what's another one I can't live without? What? White Air Force Ones. I love you me. Love I love me Air a Force fresh ones. pair. Of, but they got to be fresh. Yeah. I don't want to wear my shit for no more than two weeks. Need them hoes fresh. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, give me two you pairs. You love Air Force Ones. White this is my favorite I also want to ask them, comment down below, what's something? Just say one thing. You can pick five, but then pick, you know. Yeah. From those five, pick that one thing that you want to post um, on the comments down below. What's one thing you can't live without? And these things, like, uh, like for this hypothetical question, like these are the only five things you get for the rest of your life. So if you don't pick anything that has to do with your hygiene, we got issues. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's definitely something else that I can't live without. Tangible thing, an object. Yeah, an object. Yeah. Not a human, because then I would pick. Of course. Yeah. You know. Yeah tangible things but yeah i don't know i'm a really simple guy too oh yeah i'm a simple man i like I'm a simple, simple things man. yeah i'm a simple man damn i'm really trying to figure it out now you like boxer briefs because i don't like boxers i think boxer briefs oh boxer briefs can't live without them yeah boxers like the no. ones that are actually like flowy yeah wedgie central dude for you um this is kind of good i feel like we've answered this maybe can money buy happiness can uh, it buy love Definitely not love. No, definitely not love. Happiness to an extent. To an extent, but yeah. I'm a believer that money buys options, right? Mm -hmm. We have money, you have more options. That doesn't mean that <clears throat> those options are going to make you happy, but they could. Yeah. But ultimately, there's nothing more important than how you feel, right? So if you feel great, but you're poor, it doesn't matter because you feel great. But if you're rich and you feel sad, then your life is sad. Doesn't matter what it is. It's what you feel is what your life is. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. They I say, agree. They say you can't be broken happy, right? So me, I'm mad rich. <clears throat> Next question. Next question. That was pretty fucking good, dude. <laughs> that was a little Wayne quote. But <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, some, <laughs> um, yeah you're right. Um, money definitely can buy you options. Yeah. It can buy you pleasure mm -hmm. um <laughs> i think if you want to answer that question ask yourself one more question before that one what is happiness to you and what is happiness to you yeah what is happiness yeah because happiness doesn't m mean what we're brainwashed to think happiness is well happiness could be a facade which is yeah. crazy to think about yeah, yeah i think a lot of i think in western not actually the whole world happiness is what 
a car, a great family, kids, a nice house, um, money, you know, mm -hmm. we're, 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 you know, we're built that way. Whether that be movies, books. That's more Western culture, I'll be honest with you. Sure. But I think at the end of the day, everybody would love that, right? But I think we're very, not brainwashed, because those things are amazing. Yeah. That's awesome if you have that. But what does really, what, are, what does it, what really matters is what you need to really ask yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying be poor, or be broke, you know, I'm not saying that, have ambitions. Yeah, of course. But what really matters is the smile on your face. How you feel. How your body feels, if you're healthy, if you're feeding yourself, if you're feeding your loved ones, if you're laughing. Yeah. If, it, if you know, if you can travel the world, doesn't mean you have to stay at the four seasons in every city. Yeah. You can be backpacking it and living life. That's true. You can adventures out there. You can, yeah, you can, you know. They, you ever heard that thing where they were talking about how like uh, they've done, I don't know how they base this, but they say like pe people who make like uh, more than 70K a year aren't any more happier than the people who like just make like 70k or what I, so it's like something like that like there's a specific amount of money that like after you make more than that you're not any more happier like you've kind of like that's like the cap and it's basically because whatever that number is it covers all the basic necessities right yeah like your house transportation being able to feed your family like those things that like you need because if you don't have that i can understand how that puts a ton of stress in your life and it's just it's really hard to be happy when you can't provide you know when you don't have those basic things what's one thing that makes you happy it can be a lot of things, obviously, but yeah. what's one thing that makes you happy? My mom. Your mom. Yeah, my relationship with my mom and my brother. And the conversations yeah. you have with her. That's like my pure joy. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say something very similar. Conversations. Yeah. It can be with my fiance. It can be with my mother. It can be with my father, my siblings, with you. Yeah. With a random person. I love to conversate. Yeah. I love to have great conversations. That's what I was going to say. Because you're not a small talk kind of guy. Whether it be about fucking jack in a box oh so you're a small talk kind of guy <laughs> whether it be about jack in the box whether it about be aliens yeah it's just i am so intrigued with conversating human with connection. another human human connection and that other human to actually have the same type of interest energy of conversating back with me that's cool yeah that's happiness to me and like that's more like a personal happiness thing i love to talk and i love to conversate but like i said it's more like a personal thing but like an overall happiness is if my family and loved ones yeah are good course. and yeah. if they're happy yeah and that's probably one of the hardest ones because there's one thing that i've noticed about life is you think that you might have it bad that family that you think has it good has something bad with them too i think every family has something that they deal with yeah and if they don't that's something very rare and you should really appreciate that mm -hmm. But I think a lot of families have at least something that they deal with that people Absolutely. don't know. Absolutely. And it's okay not to share it. Yeah. But I think that if you're in a position where it's like, why does this happen to me? Why does this happen to me? It happens to a lot of people. Yeah. Yes. And I'm not saying don't, I'm not saying like, don't complain about it. Don't vent about it. Yeah. Vent about it. But sometimes we feel like things are just happening to us. Yeah, and that's not the case. And that's not the case. Yeah. It's life. You know, and it sucks. Yeah. But that's what yeah. life but life chisels you into who you for are. For sure. For sure. But there's so many things that nobody knows about my family that, that has happened, you know, and it's it's crazy. There's so many things that, you know, happen to, you know, my fiance's family. I'm sure your family and so many other families. It's just hard because I feel like sometimes I need to say that because there's so many people that DM me a lot and they, we talk about problems and we talk about this and that. And yeah, it just makes me realize like, dang, nobody's alone. Absolutely. Yeah. And you feel like this is only happening to me. Yeah. And, and, and don't realize that a lot of people go through the same things. So it's good to like vocalize and express how you feel. What happened? That was the fastest 30 minutes of my life. Oh my God, dude, you scared me. <laughs> you okay? We'll be right back. <laughs>
Um, we back like we never left. We back like we never left. Gucci and Louis story. Look, check it out. Um, yes, from what we were just talking about. Sorry, we briefly left. We had to. Um, we are not alone. Just like in space, we're not alone. We're not alone. Can you not do that? Okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> How do you start a YouTube channel without worrying about people judging you? Oh, that's a good question. I like it's a very that. good question. And uh, I love YouTube channel that specifically. Question. Is that what they said? No, I, I, media? I, let's say social media. Let's say social media. That's yeah. the more yeah, bro. Yeah, you know, I'm a part of me is slightly envious of where life is now and where social media is now because, like, when we started, it was just YouTube, right? And mm -hmm. like, you really had to make it on that platform if you wanted to be like in the social media space but now there's so many platforms out there that you can you can basically like start for example like tiktok i think is the perfect place for people who want to start like social media to get into one advice that i will say that i feel like i always talk about this i always talk about being consistent i always talk about like just working with what you got don't worry about like getting the big cameras and all that stuff just start doing it right yeah. I, I do believe that but one thing i don't really touch on that i want i want to talk about right now specifically for this question you can't just want to start social media and then just start social media of course start right but i think it's very important to know what you want to do and focus on that specific thing because I've, I've talked to people like oh, i want to do social media and i'm posting all the time well, i'm like what are you posting like anything and everything that's fine because you're doing it but you need to have direction you need to, you have, need to have you need to have a niche a, something that you're doing specifically whether that be like reviewing movies right that's the thing you're doing on and if that doesn't work for you that's fine maybe you can readjust try something new but people like just throw everything at the wall yeah. and then they don't they're just kind of they, they kind of get overwhelmed by it all and then they kind of just it kind of all falls apart yeah. but i think like speaking picking something specifically leaning into that focusing in that I think you're going to see a lot more growth and you're going to learn a lot more. You're going to, you'll be able to pull more data from that. And that way you can readjust or do whatever you need to do. You know what I mean? It's not just about posting just to post. Yeah. That's a start. You know what I mean? If that's what you yeah. need, because maybe you need to get over the whole idea of like having people like judge you and what people think. So maybe you need to just start posting everything. But when you really want to start taking it seriously, you need to have direction. You need to have a purpose of yeah. what, like, like a, a clarity of where you're going. I think just starting helps I think just starting in the beginning, just do it. Yes. Because, and I totally agree with what you're saying, but just do it and F it in the beginning, do whatever, because I want you to practice being on camera. Sure. And I want you to practice how to talk. Yeah, absolutely. And I want you to practice not to be scared yeah. and not to feel embarrassed. Yeah. Because a lot of people that want to start social media, they want to do it. Yeah, it's their passion and they have it in them, but they have it in them, but they can't get over the hump of being embarrassed mm -hmm. vlogging being in front of a tripod. Maybe you're in front of a tripod and you live at home and your mom and your dad are there yeah. and it embarrasses you. Of course, that's normal. That's completely normal. But everybody does it. Yeah, it's algo muy normal, especially nowadays, especially nowadays. Just do it. Don't be shy. Yeah. You can be do doing other stuff. Yeah right no but yes once you figure out that rhythm your niche figure out what you like yeah what you want to talk about and stick with that i agree and stick with it and learn and you might think oh my god like i like opening baseball cards like that's my thing but are people gonna like that a yes there's a huge community for everything absolutely right and b oh my god i was gonna say something so good i forgot what it was yes a people are gonna like it and b god i'm the worst host <laughs> be yourself <laughs> oh my god it was so good I like what you're saying about uh, like there's there's like a there's like a niche for everybody, right? And you're gonna find people that really like resonate and correlate with you and the content that you produce and stuff like that. And I think especially with like the internet and how much content there is out there, no matter what you do, you will find your community, especially if you're really passionate about like what you're putting out there. I know what I was gonna say now, but yes, I agree. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you. No, I was just honestly helping you trying to get your yeah, you, you got it. Yeah, thanks. That's what I did, man. <laughs> um. A, people are going to be, there's a big community of people that are interested in whatever. Yeah. Painting your nails. Absolutely. There's everything. I can go on the list. It's infinite what people can do. 
But just remember one thing. B, people will like what you do, but what people really want and what why they're really watching is because of who you are, mm -hmm. because of your personality, because of how you talk. It gets to a point where it doesn't matter what you do anymore. It's people just like you. Yeah. People want to be your friend. People will relate to you. That's why when you start something and say you're into ASMR and then you and then, and then you start slowly giving your personality foods you like to eat you start talking about your family mm, or whether you want to keep it private but people will start to just like you because of who you are yeah if you go on live oh my god this is crazy like Normally, you're just doing your videos on YouTube or you're doing reels on Instagram and you're showing us what we like to see. But wow, you're such an amazing person. Now there's a personality behind the character. Right. And I think that is the best that you can do is be relatable. And be yourself. Be yourself. Yeah. Create the content. That is what gives you the engagement. Mm-hmm. That is what gives you the organic likes or yeah. views. Yeah. That. Um, and you're a perfect example of why you've been so successful in the social media realm is because of who you are and yeah. all the characters that you've done and how you've exposed your life, uh, have you, how you've exposed the human that, you've, that you are through, through a camera. Yeah. Whether that be you doing a skit, whether that you be vlogging throughout your day. Mm. I've done it. That's why Karen is very highly likable because she is who she is yeah and she's not scared to do it but we forgot one thing the question was how do you start a youtube channel without worrying about people judging you they're gonna judge you that's what's gonna say it, no, it, everyone will judge you especially the bigger you get absolutely oh my god <laughs> oh my god yes they will and here's the thing what i've come to learn i love what i do and i love having a platform i love doing this i love all of it right no matter what i decide to do with my life and no matter what anybody decides to do with their life there is going to be judgment in anything you do so you might as well do something that you love and you're passionate about and at least you know that you're fulfilling yourself and you're going for something that is truly lighting you up and let people judge like it doesn't fucking matter as long as you your heart's in a good place the people around you uh are, love you and you love them and you have those people, nothing else matters. All of it is just all fugazi, a fugazi. Fugazi, yeah. You know I mean? yeah I, I, it, it, it doesn't mean anything. But the judgment comes. The judgment comes and it doesn't stop. And it, like you said, the bigger you get, the more judgment comes with it. And just when you think, it's going to stop. <laughs> it's going to stop. Hang on, stop. And people are going to act like they know all the details and they, they feel like they deserve to know everything. And you don't got to, you don't got to explain yourself to nobody. You know, and I think it's just, it's just understanding that and sticking with your passion. You know, it's just. I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's, I'm, I'll just play devil's advocate. First of all, I agree with everything you're saying. Second of all, if you're worried about people judging you, you should reconsider wanting to be on social media. You're on a social media platform. People don't know you. People will find you. People don't yeah. know you. It's easy to talk 100%. shit about you. 100%. They don't know you. Of yeah. course, they'll say whatever. It's yeah. called Twitter fingers. Yeah. Um, but being on their side and yes, people are going to judge you. you. You have to have somewhat of tough skin. You have to. It's not even about really having tough skin. It's just knowing that it's all pretend that it's all just make believe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and just continue to do what you do. I don't think there's people are going to judge. I think that's part of the territory. I think the most important thing through all of that is what does that do to you? Yeah. It, does that cripple you? What does that What does that judgment do to you? You know, like you have to understand that it is part of it, and it's not real. People just you don't owe anything to anybody, and understand that judgment is just all part of the game, and uh, it's but it's also paying attention to what how that makes you feel and how that changes your your mind and your outlook and your approach to things. You know what I mean? That's the thing that you should be really paying attention to and trying to see how you can better yourself yeah. in that. Right. Like, because if you're one to get like overworked or it like, it like it, it deflates you or maybe uh, suppresses you from wanting to pursue like your goal and, and social media and stuff like that, 
you got to take a moment and realize and have these kind of conversations with yourself. These people don't know you. Mm. You are uh, exposing yourself out there. People are going to judge you. That's just part of it. But as long as you know yourself and know that what you're doing is is it's because you want to fulfill your passion, you're not doing anything wrong. Mm -hmm. And you are being more courageous than the people who are judging you because they were too afraid to step into what you're doing. Because I promise you, the people who are doing it, the people who are excelling, the people who are successful are not judging you. They're busy doing their own thing. They're focused. They're just watching and admiring and, and you know, throwing you your flowers. That, that, I love that you said Those that. Those people aren't judging you. It's the people that are like, oh, you, you, you always have something to say. You know, the ones that are not doing it or the ones that were afraid to step into what you're doing. Yeah. I don't need to say anything else. You just topped everything that I just said. I completely agree. Yeah. People that judge are the ones you don't even have to worry about in the in oh, the first man. part. Yeah. And like I said, at the end of the day, you're going to get judged whether you're on social media or not. Yeah. And then, you know, what's crazy, bro. The people, it'll be the people that judge you in the beginning and then you start popping off. And yeah. then they're the ones that like always, they come back around and their energy changes, uh -huh. you know, and it's just, now, now they, now you made them believe. Yeah. 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 Make uh -huh. them believe. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, um, it's just life. No one is like you. People have the same beliefs as you. Some people don't. People are different. That's where judgment comes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. There's a there's a word there's a quote and I'll end with this. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Is that the Sir Ice Cube? I think that's Mr. Cube. <laughs> I don't know how that quote correlates to everything you said. I think I think you, I think you <laughs> I feel like kind of said it right. I think it's more chickity check yourself. Chickity check yourself before, before you, you wreck, wreck yourself. yourself. Chickity check. Yeah, that was episode ninety four. God damn it, we good. I swear to God, no wonder Google's be telling us we number one. Ninety four. Uh, Great questions, say, by the way. Hey, hey, Timothy, <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> How Kimmy you, Butler. How you say uh, per in Spanish? Ron Ronel. And don't you forget uh, it. And that, uh, hey, by the way, let me know if you guys actually try the tacos with tomatoes on your dead ass. That shit is fire. I'm going to go get some right now. Episode 94, my boy. I'll see you guys when uh, I'm married. So, uh, yeah. yeah. See you on the other side, my boy. See you on the other side. Uh, uh. Wise words from a decent man. Hey, and we celebrate next week. Let's do it. Everybody. Turn we up. celebrating next week. Josh's one year anniversary well technically it's right now to people who are watching it oh yeah <laughs> it was right now it's right now it's right now but we celebrating all week hey but if you guys have time and since i've already told you his instagram at the josh leo which i already know you're following him <laughs> um dm the man comment on his pictures say congratulations on your first year anniversary it's like, kind of like we're dating <laughs> we did one year we did know? a year bro one year happy one year anniversary thank you puppy it's my been a boy. pleasure it's been an honor it's been a my, privilege my boy let's get it done nos vemos en la próxima platiquita my boy one year in the books <laughs> number one latino number one latino podcast <laughs> in the world yo nunca dije esa mierda you're absolutely right see ya ronroneo <laughs>